Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so two things I want to hold on. I want to do. Um, hold on. Let me just make sure because I don't want the same thing to happen like it did last time. Um, first of all. Happy Mother's Day to every mother out there or dads playing the role of dad and mom. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys have a great day. And um, I want to touch bases on first the giveaway and then um, I have had a lot of requests with my magnetic envelopes and a lot of people are telling me um, if I can show how I stitch around it. So I'm going to do it, show you how I stitch around it, and hopefully this helps a lot of you guys out. So the first thing we are going to do is um, let's do the envelope and then we'll touch bases on the giveaway. Uh, I have here a piece of paper and I mean you fix your envelope however size you want to, but this paper measures nine and an eighth by four and a half, because that's the size, the size that I want. So I've cut it and then um, I am going to flip it to where the letters are facing that way, okay? That way when you turn it over, let me make sure I'm in frame. When you turn it over, you have your letters here, your text here, you know, legible. Okay, so that's what we want. So I'm going to um, actually, let me make a lip. Here, I'm gonna make a little lip and the lip is gonna be probably about three quarters of an, eight, of an inch. So this not only is going to give the envelope more support here but it also is going to hide our magnet and i want my envelope probably to be right about there which is about three inches okay so as you can see now you can read the text okay now i'm gonna find my middle and to do that i'm just going to lightly just fold it in half and kind of pinch it and that's going to show me where my middle is and I'm just going to bring this over like this and fold okay so we have that I hope I'm in frame and then I'm going to fold it like this. So we have now our little envelope, okay? So let me just distress it really fast because I like the look of it. Hope you guys are doing great and I hope you guys have an awesome day today. I did my garden yesterday and oh my gosh my back is killing me I must be so out of shape because from all the bending you know my back is like so my lower back I have a bad disc back there so uh, and then I'm going to bend it back because I like that look there so I'll distress the rest in a little well let's just do it now just gonna distress. Okay, so now we're gonna open it up and let me grab my magnets. Got two magnets and I get these, um, I got these from eBay. Got these on eBay and they're not expensive. Um, just put thin magnet disc and you'll see a whole bunch of them come 
come up. So we're going to this little lip here. I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to add a little bit of glue just to hold my magnet. Right there. And now I'm going to glue around it. Okay. And I'm generous with the glue around the magnet. Make sure your magnet is kind of in the middle and then bend it. So now that has concealed our magnet back there. So now in order to line it up, now I have my magnet and I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to just place my other magnet right there, okay? I'm gonna open up these little flaps here. I'm gonna add a little dot of glue. I just wanna mark my spot. And with the two flaps open, just bend down. Now it, it wetted this little section here, so I know that I placed my magnet right there. And now I'm going to close my little envelope flaps here. And now my bag that is hidden as well. Okay, so now we have our envelope that closes. It's magnetic. See? So now I'm going to stitch around. But before I do that, I always like to put a little sting, string of glue, of glue, and it just it just gives me um, a little bit more security, you should, I should say, before I stitch. And now I'm going to close it. Okay. At this point, you can add lace, um, you can add something at the bottom if you want to, right here. You can add, mm, let's see, what, what does this one look like? Let's see. You can add that one. And I think I like that one. So I'm going to add that, or you can put it up here. You know, but something smaller because it's not going to look right. This is too wide for the envelope. But um, for purpose of, you know what, I'll just use this one. I like this one. So I'm just going to very lightly put a little bit of glue. So I love this. It's so pretty. And I'm going to add it right at the bottom because this little envelope, I think I want it positioned in the middle of my page. So let me get my scissors. It's going to cut. Okay, good. I'm still recording. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and stitch. I wish I could. I moved my my um my sewing machine guys. So I hope that I can show you. Let's see if I can just rotate this a little bit. Oops, sorry about my hand. Oh sorry. Maybe. Okay. That's the best it's gonna get, guys. Okay. So I have my sewing machine and I'm going to put this 
on zigzag. Um, you don't have to put it on zigzag. You can do a straight stitch and that way you don't lose so much um, real estate on the envelope. But I'm going to do the zigzag. And I'm just going to lay it down. And what I'm going to do is I am going to stitch um, these three sides. And I'm going to go straight up and I'm going to stitch the top. Okay. So let's do that. That is it guys that is how you stitch your envelope let me bring you back hopefully okay all right so now you have your little envelope i'm going to cut my little strings I'm going to cut this at an angle because I always like my little um, envelope skirts to have that little cut there like an angle like if it was a little skirt and there you have your little magnetic envelope so as you can see I just stitched all around all around and that's it that's what it looks like and that'll look so cute on a page i'm working on this little journal i'll come back for a flip through and maybe the envelope will live maybe right here and you have your cute little magnetic envelope and i would just glue here here and here so that way this is open but you don't have to um so I hope that answers all of your questions. I've been getting a lot of uh, messages telling me if I could show how I stitch around the envelope. So this is how I do it. Um, now for the giveaway, guys, thank you again. I am I'm thrilled because um, I'm just, I don't know what's happening, <laughs> but I'm getting subscribers uh and subscribers and subscribers and i so appreciate it thank you so much guys um it just makes me want to create more and you know you know how that goes anyway i am doing a a giveaway and i'm going to be giving away and the reason why you're not going to see it is because it's going to be up to whoever wins so i'm giving away a one signature journal and the journal that I'll make is going to be fully dressed. It's going to be uh, one signature, about 80 plus pages. So it's going to be full, full blown. It's going to be fabric covered. So all you have to do, like I had mentioned on my last video, is go to uh, Seneca Pond Crafts. And the link is in, going to be in the description box below. And just browse through her journal kits. And in the then come back to this video and in the comment section, uh, just let me know what 
uh, kit you would like me to use to create your journal should you be the winner. Okay, and I will do that. So it's as simple as that. You just have to be a subscriber. Uh, the giveaway is open internationally. So um, I will ship a journal wherever you are. And let's see, am I missing anything? Mm -hmm. um, I would appreciate if you guys give this video a like, you know, um, hopefully you like it. <laughs> and let's see, um, you got to be 18 years or over. And let me see, let me think and see if I'm missing anything. No, I think that's it. All you have to do is be a subscriber, uh, like the video, I would appreciate it. Um, share the video, I would appreciate it so much. Um, and then come go to Santa Capan, look through her kits. Let me know what journal you would want me to uh, do for you if you win. And leave it in the comment section down below. It's that simple. So, yeah, this is all I have for now. I am finishing up this little journal here that I use. Um, I'm using, this is Seneca Pond Crafts, and it's the Beach Mail Kit. And it's almost done, because it's going to be a simple one. And I'll be listing that hopefully today. I will show you another one that I just finished, that I will come back and do a flip through. And I did, um, it's a hardcover. And I just have, I did the rounded spine. I hadn't done that in so long. And yeah, I'll show that uh, in my next video. And that is it, guys. I will come back probably tomorrow with a couple of things I want to share and show you. And um, But I will definitely be back today for the journal flip throughs. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and... That's all I have for now. Thank you so much. And happy Mother's Day again to all the mommies out there. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon. Oh, I'm coming back with a haul video. I have um, a haul video to show. And I'll be coming back with that too. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.